Hi, my name's Neeraj and I'm a pharmacist and I must have dished out thousands of weight loss pills in my time. And the truth is that they have horrendous side effects and most of them don't work permanently. So I've actually turned my attention now to looking for holistic solutions for helping people lose weight. And today I'm joined with a good friend, Marissa Peer, who's actually one of the UK's top weight loss therapists. So we're going to actually talk about an amazing new program that Marissa's put together called Perfect Weight Forever. And we're just going to ask a few questions to find out more about it. So, hi Marissa. Hi. How are you? Hi. Excellent. So, why is it that diet pills and all these diet fads out there on the internet or out in the world today, why is it that they don't work? The reason diet pills don't work is because overeating is a habit of action that is run by a habit of thought. So compulsive eating, binge eating, they are all, that's a habit of action, but what's running that is a thought process. No one ever says, you know, I binge on lettuce, or once I start eating celery, I just can't stop. In my 30 years, people say to me, I can't stop eating cookies. Once I open a packet of potato chips, I can't stop. I can eat a whole tub of ice cream and then open a second one. So this is a habit of action, but it's run by a habit of thought. When you change the thought process, you're cured forever. So if you've ever been made to eat something like kidneys or liver or sprouts or semolina and found it disgusting, you can never eat it again because you changed your habit of thought. Some people say, you know, one of my friends is saying that she started to keep chickens for eggs and now she can't eat chickens ever because she's kind of in love with these chickens. So she's changed her habit of thinking. When you change your habit of thinking, the action goes away forever. If anyone here has ever been over the toilet bringing up mushroom risotto or prawns, we go, oh, I can't eat that again for the rest of my life. And even though they actually want to eat it later, they'll find they just can't. Because when you change a habit of thought, you change the habit of action forever. Diet pills don't touch your thinking. Diet pills suppress your appetite so you can't eat chocolate. But the minute you stop taking the pills, you go back to eating the chocolate. We know that diet pills have a massive failure rate. They suppress your appetite. And guess what? Whatever you suppress will eventually motivate you. So the more you starve yourself, or suppress your appetite with pills. The minute you stop, you eat more than ever. And we know they don't work, and we know the side effects are terrible and can even be life-threatening. And why would you even bother when just changing your thinking would change your life? You know, no vegan wakes up and says, oh my God, today I must try really, really hard not to eat bacon, or it's so hard not to eat those beef, beef burgers at work. Their thought says, I can't eat a living creature. That isn't right or wrong, it's proof that you're not what you eat, you're what you think. And if you want to change the way you eat, if you want to be your perfect way forever, guess what? Change your thinking. It not only works, it works for the rest of your life. And one of the reasons I know it works is because it works for me. You know, when I was in my 20s, I couldn't keep chocolate in my house. I couldn't even keep jam or confectionery or cookies. I couldn't even keep bread or cereal in my house because I'd eat all of it. And now I keep loads of that stuff in my house. I don't even look at it. I'm indifferent to it. And it, it's so liberating. But I didn't change what I did. I changed what I thought. And that changed my whole life. And it's going to change all the people that come onto this program's life too, because it really works. So can you tell us a bit more about your amazing method that's had so much success right now, you know, it's been on TV, we've seen all these amazing case studies. How does it work? Why does it work so well? One of the reasons my method works so incredibly well is because we are all born normal about food. When you were in your mother's womb, when my little baby was in my womb, food is available 24 hours a day. And babies are born with an interesting belief, and this is it. Food's always there, I have it later. You can never make newborns overeat. When they've had enough, they stop. You know, if I would give my stepchildren or godchildren, if they ask for an ice cream and I give it to them, they give it back after four bites. When I used to do my daughter's birthday parties, all the children go, I want a piece of cake, I want a piece of cake, I want a piece of cake. And they clamor for the cake and you hand out the paper plate with a the cake. They take four bites and go off to play because their mindset says, that's always there. I'll have it later. And that's a good thing. And you'll find that naturally skinny people will have 
half a packet of candy in their handbag or they'll have dishes of potato chips on their counter and don't eat them because their belief is it's always there. When you start to go, this is naughty food and this is bad food and I mustn't eat it, guess what happens? You increase the desire. So the more you try to resist something, the more you want it. And the more you get into this mindset, I mustn't have that and I can't have it, your body now starts to make you really, really want it. So we know that dieting doesn't work. In fact, science has proved that diets have a 2% success rate, which means, guess what, they have a 98% failure rate. We know the most time anyone can stay on a diet is six weeks, and that's optimistic. So what my program does is it reactivates what you were born with, an ability to leave food. I've never met a two-year-old that goes, I ate two biscuits, yes, I've got to run around the nursery today and burn off that fat, or today I must try really hard not to eat candy. So it gives you back something amazing, an ability to be indifferent to food. The opposite of love isn't hate, it's indifference and disinterest. And then you can be around cupcakes and cookies and just think, yeah, I'll have those when I'm 65 or 75 or 85. What my program really does is it, it sets up a dialogue with your mind. So for instance, this bride wrote to me and said, you know, I, I've been trying to lose weight. I've got this dress. It's too small. And I thought I'd go on a diet and get thinner. And I'm actually getting fatter every week. And I, I don't know what I'm going to do because I can't get it on it. It doesn't fit me. And I haven't got enough money to buy another one. And I said, well, what happened? She goes, well, every time I go to the store, I go to the biscuit aisle. I look at my favorite cookies and go, oh, I love you. 